Welcome to Kentfield, home of College of Marin. I am Nick Winstead, and the Mariners taking on the Los Medanos College Mustangs here at home. Just their second home game of the season as both squads out on the court. Mariners had their perfect Bay Valley Conference record snapped on the road at Contra Costa. On Saturday, it opened up a 4-0 start to conference play, but had that snapped at Contra Costa. The Mustangs coming in with a 2-3 and three conference record overall is J.T. Branch and Wayne Johnson Jr. at the middle and knocked down by Branch out to Johnson. Johnson into the wing for Callum. Up top to Callum, excuse me, that was Everly. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Former in Callum will hold the ball, pass it off to Johnson. Johnson, the 5'11 sophomore from Brentwood to Callum, back to Johnson to Barrett in the wing. Under 10 seconds on the shot clock now. Kicked over to Johnson. Johnson closed out quickly to Callum. Callum driving inside, puts up the shot in the lane, and a shot clock violation against Marin. Up court to Albert Waters, the 5'9 freshman guard from San Francisco. Back to Waters, into the wing, into the corner for three. No good off back iron for Royce Henry. Callum collects the miss, he gets it up to Johnson. Johnson to Everly, Everly loads and fires the three. He can't get it to go. Back to back missed threes by both squads. Barrett collects the miss out to Johnson. Johnson down inside to Callum, kicks it out to Everly. Everly to Johnson. Johnson slowing things down, 18 seconds on the shot clock for Marin. Everly with it in the near wing to Barrett, to Johnson. Johnson fires the three. He can't get it to go. Three missed threes in the contest. And up to Andrew Hall. Hall kicks it out. Finally ending up at the top of the arc. Now to the wing for Henry. Henry into the corner firing the threes. Hall, he can't get it to fall. All missing threes thus far. And finally Noah Everly gets onto the board. Two points for Everly, and Marin on top early. Two to nothing, 18, 22 to play off the glass, and getting the roll is Waters. Long pass up to Everly. Everly driving baseline, kicks it out to Johnson, steps into the three. He can't get it to go. Everly with the board and the bucket. Everly with all four points for Marin. They lead four to two, driving inside as Waters kicks it outside. Final into the corner. Four, Hall, back up top to Waters. Firing the three and no good is Henry. Offensive board, fresh shot clock for the Mustangs. Driving inside and missing is Henry. A defensive board for Marin, kicked up the floor to Everly. Into the corner for Barrett, fires the three. And sticks it on the side of the backboard. That will be Mustangs basketball. Four to two early goings of this Bay Valley Conference matchup. 17-35 remaining. In Kenfield, Mariners with a 10 and eight record overall. Los Medanos with 12 and eight. 
White to Hall. And intercepted by Everly, stepped perfectly into the passing lane. Everly bringing it up the court himself, out to Johnson. Johnson will kick it down to Calum along the baseline. One dribble, kicks it out to Barrett, swung over to Branch to Everly. Everly back to Johnson, down to Callum. They've gone around the world, and they get the bucket because of it. Callum with his first points of the contest. He's got nine straight double-digit games on the season, and he begins working towards a tenth. It's a 6-2 to two lead for Marin, 16-52 to play. Waters into the wing for a wide open three and unable to connect is Andrew Hall. A lot of threes being taken and none made by either squad. Johnson crossover in the lane off the glass and gets the roll. Two points for Johnson and a timeout is called. The Mariners off to a hot start at home. Up 8-2, to 16-36 remaining. Marin coming in with the best field goal percentage in the state, being wise with their shot selections, and it comes away with a 53.3% shooting from the field for Marin. Thanked in large part to this recent hot streak they've been able to put together in Bay Valley Conference play as I started at the top of the broadcast. They started off 4-0 in conference. Their streak snapped of their 18 games coming into this one on the road as it's kicked over to Matt Cicernos. Driving inside, Waters, wild pass out, saved in the wing up top to Cicernos. 10 seconds on the shot clock, stepping into the three and no good, another missed three for the Mustangs as Branch pulls down the board for Marin, up to Branch from Everly, one huge dribble and an offensive foul called against Branch, his first. The first foul of the contest will go against the Mariners. Marin up to a six point advantage with 16 0 2 remaining in the half. Down inside to Thomas. Thomas can't get the roll off the rim. Branch brings it up the court, gets it over to Johnson. Johnson to Barrett. Barrett drives baseline, kicks it out, and intercepted by Waters. Waters working against Callum. Waters will go up and blocked away by Callum. Beautifully swatted away by Callum. But run down by the Mustangs. Going inside is Brown, kicks it out for three. And Thomas can't connect. Callum pulls down the board for Marin up to Barrett. And Barrett will hand it off to Johnson. Johnson brings it across the timeline. Barrett to Callum. Into the corner of Everly. Looks like Peace might have been picked up by Jeff Brown on that shot. Mustangs are pushing to Waters. And Callum can't block it this time. Waters with four points. He has all four points for the Mustangs. It's an 8-4 to four lead for Marin here at home. Branch at the free throw line and gets knocked out of bounds by Waters. Marin basketball, 21 seconds on the shot clock for Marin. 15 minutes to play in the first half. As Jason Reff enters into the game, the 6'7 freshman from Novato. He takes over for Branch. Out to Reff. Driving inside and nearly travels, but got it off to Callum, who puts up an expert floater. Four points for Callum. It's a 10 to 4 lead, back to six point advantage for Marin. Thomas driving inside underneath the basket. He'll get it back, goes up and puts it off the glass and in first points of the contest for Thomas. He's coming out of a 28 point effort up at Yuba. Barrett to Rife, to Everly in the corner. One, one dribble passes out to Callum. Callum drives inside, puts it up and can't get the roll. The Mustangs pushing things. It's a three on three. Waters. Lining and firing up the three and missing off the back is Cicernos, no good. Johnson with a three in transition, swish for Johnson. Five points in the first three of the contest for either squad. 13 to six lead for Marin, 14 minutes left in the first half. White into the corner for Cicernos. Cicernos blows by Callum, stepping in and firing the three. No good off back iron and Callum boxes out Cicernos for the miss. Johnson will begin taking his time as Marin gets back on offense. Down inside to Everly, 
Catch and shoot, and can't get it to go. Finally running it down is Albert Waters. Waters bringing it up the court. Working against four Mariners, drives inside and puts up the shot, fouled on the drive by Callum. Free throws coming up for Waters. Callum picks up his first personal foul. Second team foul of the contest. 13-31 remaining and Albert Waters going to the line where he is a 79% free throw shooter. Connecting on the first of those two free throws. Galen Callum comes off. Joey Nepheus checking into the contest for the first time as Waters will rim that one out and it'll go off of Nepheus on his first play in, former in of the game. Not a stellar start but easy to improve upon as Waters will inbound for the Mustangs. It's a 13 to seven game into the corner. Thought about the three, hands it off to Thomas. Swung around, Waters driving inside. Bullet pass and a jump ball is called. Riff got his hands on that one and possession arrow points towards Marin. Barrett out to Johnson, being guarded closely by Abdullah. Long pass up to Everly. Everly, his pass is knocked away as Cicerno's trailing, picked up the speed and knocks it out of bounds. 13 to seven lead, former in 13 to 15 to play. Johnson slaps the basketball. He'll start the inbounds play way up top to Nefeas. Down inside, one dribble, jump, and can't get the roll. Mustangs pull it down and are pushing it. Into the corner, Thomas can't get his three to go and saving the basketball and a timeout called on the fall from Nepheus. Callum and Branch check back into the contest, checking over for Rafe and Barrett. It's Mustangs basketball. Kicked out for three. Still cannot seem to hit it from downtown. Can the Mustangs? They're going to go back to it as this is a team that loves to shoot the three. It's a 13-7 lead for Marin. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Putting up the shot from the elbow and can't get it to fall. Oh, number 20, Jeff Brown. Kicked up court to Callum. Callum to Johnson. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Out to Callum. Back down inside to Branch. Turn around and the bucket for Branch. His first point of the contest. It's a 15 to seven lead for Marin. Everly nearly got a hand on that pass, but Waters collects it for Los Medanos. 12-10 to play in the half. Waters back to Henry. Down inside. Going up and putting an expert amount of touch on that one, Mark Thomas. Johnson bringing it up the court for Marin. Everly dribbles through some traffic to Johnson. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Johnson knifing through the lane, has to kick it out to Everly. Thought about the three, back to Johnson. Johnson drives inside and loses the hand on the basketball. Collected right along the line by Thomas. Thomas working against Branch and Everly going to the rack and they will call goaltending against Callum. Count the bucket. And a timeout taken by Coach Collins of the Mariners. Coach Collins in his first year with the College of Marin. He is assisted by DeAndre Pertit. Eleven thirty-three to play in the half. Marin out to a 15-11 lead over the visiting Mustangs. Marin has scored at least 80 points in all of their Bay Valley Conference games. Up four points from their average before conference play started. So something was clicking for Marin in those first five conference games. We'll see if they can continue it here against the visiting Mustangs. The Mustangs. Not having the best of luck on the road thus far. 0-2 on the road for Los Medanos. 
as both squads return to the floor. Barrett will inbound for Marin. Up to Johnson running the point for Marin. And a long pass will be run down by Abdul. Sloppy pass for Marin turns into an easy bucket for the Mustangs. White with his first points of the contest. It's just a two point lead for Marin now and dribbling out of bounds on the far lane is Callum. A chance for the Mustangs to tie it and or take the lead. <laughs> 11, 10 to play. Waters directing traffic for Los Medanos. Into the wing, back up top to Waters. Firing the wide open look and connecting. Andrew Hall, the first three of the contest for the Mustangs, and they take the lead, 16 to 15, 10, 48 to play. Everly to Johnson. Johnson slowing things down. He gets it back to Everly, to Callum. Callum driving inside, puts it up with the left hand and connects. Six points for Callum. Marin takes back the lead, 17 to 16. A long pass up court to Henry. Henry will be fouled on the drive. Branch and Callum flying in. Callum down on the floor momentarily. He's back up. Three team fouls against Marin. And that will send Royce Henry to the line. And an 84% free throw shooter on the year. He connects for his first point of the contest. He had 12 points against Yuba, and all of them came from downtown, going 4 of 12 from three-point range. He goes 2 for 2 at the line, and a substitution for Marin. JT Branch will come off. Jason Rafe back into the contest. Barrett inbounds. Out to Callum. Long pass up. Finally getting it over to Johnson. Johnson being closed out quickly. Trying to trap the Mariners. Now switching back into a 2-3 zone are the Mustangs. Callum to Rafe driving inside and has it ripped away momentarily. Puts up a wild shot and it's picked up by Waters. Waters drives inside. He kicks it out for three. Back-to-back -back threes for Andrew Hall. Six points. And the Mustangs back on top, 21-17. Johnson driving, puts up the shot and cannot get the foul. The bucket, excuse me, as there is a foul. Blocking foul goes against Albert Waters, his first, the first team foul against the Mustangs. Johnson goes to the line, the best free throw shooter for the Mariners at 79.7%. And he connects on the first of his free throws. Six points. He's tied with Callum for most in the contest along with Andrew Hall of Los Medanos. He leaves that one short. An easy collection by White. Up the court to Henry. Firing the three. And connects. Three straight threes for the Mustangs. 24-18 lead. This is a team that loves to hit the three, and they can put you in a bad position, but a great pass finds Rafe underneath for the bucket, pulls it back to a four-point deficit for Marin, and Johnson is able to kick it out of the hands of Waters on the drive. It'll re remain Los Medanos basketball. Twenty-six seconds on the shot clock. A twenty-four to twenty lead for Los Medanos on the road. Catch and shoot three, and four straight threes for the Mustangs. Nine points for Andrew Hall. He averages eight points a game. He's already bested it in the first eleven minutes of the contest. Johnson driving inside and cannot get the shot to go, but he'll be fouled. On the drive, Royce Henry picking up his first personal foul. They'll call it on the floor. Johnson will inbound underneath the basket. Out to Callum. Callum puts up the shot and an easy bucket for Callum. He's got eight points. Five-point lead for the Mustangs. 27-22, 8.57 to play. Henry 
to Waters, driving against Barrett and flipping it up and out of bounds. Marin got a hand on that one. 16 seconds on the shot clock for the Mustangs. Mark Thomas will inbound. Up top to Waters. Directing traffic. Poked away by Johnson. Johnson working against Henry. Puts it up with the left hand. Cannot get the roll. Barrett working for the board, but he'll be out played by Waters. Waters outside to Henry. Henry driving inside, kicks it into the corner. Can it be another three? No, but an offensive board. And tipping it away on the block is Rafe. Everly brings it up the court. Everly with the right hand. He can't get it to go. Johnson will pick up the foul, trying to bat it around. That is his first personal foul. The Mustangs on top, 27-22, 8-20 to play as Marin trying to bounce back from the road loss to Contra Costa and remain atop the Bay Valley Conference. They're tied with Contra Costa with identical 4-1 records was Los Madanos is tied for fifth with a 2-3 record. Thomas driving inside, puts it up off the glass, no good. Everly works for the board, but pulling it down and coming up with the bucket is Mark Thomas. Seven-point lead for the Mustangs. Marin has been held scoreless these last few minutes. Jason Rafe, the only Mariner with a bucket of recent. Barrett into the corner, wide open three, and he hits it. A big three when Marin needed it. They went to Brandon Barrett. It's a four-point game. Stepping in for the three, no good for the Mustangs. But this three goes for Andrew Hall. 12 points on four threes for Hall. 32-25 lead to Callum. And another bucket for Callum. He extends his double-digit scoring streak to 10 games. An expert assist by Rafe. 27 points for Marin, 32 for the visiting Mustangs. They're on top here in Kenfield. Seven minutes to play now. Waters off to Thomas. Thomas driving inside and a block called against Marin. That's five team fouls against Marin. Jason Rafe picking up his first. And going to line is Mark Thomas. He's got six points. Is a 69.5% free throw shooter and he's able to get that one to go. JT Branch checking back into the contest. Branch, the 6'8 freshman from Riverside taking over for the 6'7 freshman. No lack of size here in this Mariners lineup. Missing off the front is Thomas. Up to Barrett. Callum to Everly, to Johnson. Fires the three and connects. Johnson's second three of the contest. He's got nine points. And Marin down by just three now. Waters spins around against Branch. Puts it up with the right hand wildly. No good. Johnson begins bringing it up the court, lobs it up for Everly. Everly brings it down, puts it off the glass, and in. Six points for Everly. Marin down by just one now. 33-32, Los Medanos on top. 6.15 to play. Driving inside is Cicernos, kicks it over to Waters. Waters firing the three is Andrew Hall, and he hits it. Andrew Hall automatic from downtown. He's got 15 points, five threes in the first half. Los Medanos leads Marin 36-32, 6.07 on the clock as a timeout is taken. Andrew Hall lighting up this Marin three-point defense. Marin averaging, giving up their opponents just a 34% percentage from outside, but the Mustangs having much better success this evening, we'll see if Marin can clean it up. Coach Collins, none too pleased about that. Of course, this is on the other side of it for Marin. They hit 16 threes against Yuba last week, so they certainly know 
just how effective the long ball can be, but they've just down by four here. 36 to 32 is Los Medanos leads. Barrett will inbound. He gets it up to Everly. Back to Barrett as the Mod Los Medanos running a light press. Barrett up to Callum. Callum to Everly. To Barrett. Steps into the three. And he hits it. Another big three from Brandon Barrett. He's got six points. Back to a one point game. 36 35. 5 48 to play in the half. Waters calls for Hall to move to the other corner. Cesarnos driving against Barrett, spins around out to Waters, working against Johnson. Waters stops and will travel. A turnover in the offensive end for the Mustangs. A chance for Marin to take back the lead. Royce Henry will check back into the contest, taking over for Albert Waters. Johnson blowing past the Mustangs. Gets it off to Branch. Mishandled it. Long pass up to Callum. Callum. One step. Leaves it off for Branch. And it'll be knocked off of Branch. Out of bounds. Good idea by Callum. But Branch couldn't quite execute. As it looked like a Mustang had gotten his hand on that one. Knocked it off of Branch. 36-35 lead for the Mustangs. Andrew Hall has been feeling it from outside. They're going to get it to him along the baseline, and he's got 17 points in the first half. 5 10 to play, 38 35 lead for Los Madanos. Pass up the court to Johnson. Johnson will bring it back out up top to Barrett. Barrett into the corner for Everly. He fires the three, leaves it short. Pulling it down is Johnson Jr., and the Mustangs are back on the attack. Cicernos. Back to Cicernos. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Down underneath to Thomas. Thomas along the baseline and cannot get it to go. Johnson Jr. fires for Hall. Hall automatic from outside. 20 points, six threes. Everly off to Johnson. It's a 41-35 lead for the Mustangs. Marin needs to get a bucket here to stay in contention, and Brandon Barrett flying in for the putback. Eight points for Barrett. It's a four-point lead for the Mustangs of Los Medanos. 41-37, 4-0-2 to play. Hall being guarded much closer now. Left off perfectly for Johnson Jr., but he misses off the glass. A perfect opportunity there for the 6'6 freshman. Could not convert Johnson. And the Mariners trying to pull back closer as Andrew Hall has led Los Medanos to a 41-37 lead. It'll be passed out of bounds. Jason Reif comes back on for JT Branch. Everly now drawing the defensive matchup against Hall. 20 points in the first half. Los Medanos will have to go elsewhere. Barrett saves it along the baseline, and they'll say he was out of bounds when he contacted it. So Los Medanos basketball, 12 seconds on the shot clock, 3.16 left in the half. The Mustangs lead 41-37 over the Mariners. Cesarnos. Catch and shoot three. No good off back iron, but an offensive board for White. Thomas will slow things down. Thomas being told to go by head coach Dominucci and a travel called. 2.57 left in the half. Barrett begins bringing it up the court. He gets it off to Johnson. Johnson to Callum. Callum, one dribble, puts up the shot. No good. Looks like a Mustang might have gotten a hand on that one. Barrett has to close out on Hall. They get it down to White along the baseline. Thomas begins driving inside and gets it off the glass and in nine points for Mark Thomas. Johnson splits the double team. Blows by Waters. 
And cannot get the shot to go from the elbow. Henry pushing things and will have it go out of bounds. And timeout called by Coach Collins and the Mariners. They trail 43 to 37, 218 remaining here at Kenfield. Just the second home game of the year for Marin. Their first game was an 83 to 70 win over Merritt. Los Medanos looking to spoil that perfect, albeit small, perfect record for the Mariners here at home. More importantly, however, is that conference record, Marin. 4-1, and one, tied for best in the Bay Valley Conference. Los Medanos comes in with a 2-3 and three record overall in the conference, that should say. 12-8 and eight total on the year, but that 2-3 and three conference record is all that matters now. 2-18 left in the half. Both squads down in front of their coaches, drawing up plays. Marin trying to battle back into this one. Down by six. It's been all Andrew Hall for the Mustangs. He's got 20 points. Six threes. He had 11 points against Eubin the whole game, and he's bested that, nearly doubled it up in just the first 18 minutes against Marin. Everly has it out of bounds off of Los Medanos. Royce Henry got a hand on that one. 25 seconds on the shot clock for Marin as Barrett will inbound. Coach Collins trying to help direct traffic. Desperate to get his team back into this one. Everly in the corner, spins around, gives it off to Callum, down inside to Rafe, puts up the shot and can't get it to go, but Johnson is there. Count the bucket and a foul. Johnson with 11 points. The second Mariner in double digits. Chance for an and one for George Johnson to pull it back to within three. It's a 43-39 lead for Los Medanos. George Johnson at the line trying to complete the three-point play. And he does just that. 12 points for Johnson. Back to a three-point contest. Thomas. Drives against Barrett, blocked. Johnson picks up the miss. Up to Everly, Everly to the rack and in. Everly with eight points. George Johnson turns the turnover into a bucket for Everly. Expert pass down the floor. Great court vision for the sophomore. To Thomas, to Cicernos, working against Johnson. 1.25 remaining. It's a one point lead for Los Medanos. Got Johnson in the air. Thomas. To Henry. And a bucket underneath for White. His second bucket, four points for the freshman. 45 42 lead. And it'll go off of Johnson out of bounds. Los Medanos basketball. 103 left in the half. They lead by three. 45 42. Branch will check into the contest, taking over for Rafe. Rafe was heading over, but they'll take over for Johnson instead. Johnson needs the breather. Cicernos. Back up top. Hall being directed over. Out to Thomas. Working against Barrett, and it'll go into the backcourt. Running it down for a backcourt violation is Henry, Mariners basketball. 45.4 seconds remaining in the half. Marin trails by three. Branch will come off. Johnson checks back in after that quick breather on the bench. They need Johnson offensively, particularly down three. He's got 12 points most for Marin and two of the four threes that Marin has hit. Back up to Johnson. To Everly, to Johnson, back to Everly, into the corner for Barrett. Up top to Johnson, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Everly down now up to Johnson, to Callum. Callum can't get it to go off 
will go oh, right into the corner, nearly out of bounds, expertly saved by the Mustangs. They're going to hold for the last shot. They're on top by three. They can extend it a little bit more still. Five seconds, Waters driving, and an easy bucket plowing past this Marin defense. Seven points for Waters, but everyone is trailing. Andrew Hall, six threes made in the first half, 20 points. It's a 47-42 lead for Los Medanos on the road here in Kenfield. George Johnson with 12 points leads Marin in scoring. He and Keelan Callum, the only Mariners, in double digits. Mark Thomas, the second best scorer in the half for Los Medanos with nine. Waters with seven. Henry with five. And White contributing four points of his own as the teams head to the lockers. It's Los Medanos on top by five. 